we are not. We we yes. Gosh, that's a nice car you're driving. What model is it? Are you in a race? I don't think he wants to talk to me. Excuse me, but wouldn't it be better if my friends came in? Don't worry about your friends. I'm watching them. Mais non, you are wrong. Rama says the second is never wrong. We are not in the valley of the kings. Of course we are, you loon. My ancestors rest beneath this ground. Hey, hey, driver, tell Ramses where we are. We are in a hospital. Why would we be in an hospital? That doesn't make any sense. Napoleon is right. I'll be 90 when I die. Why would I be in a hospital at this tender young age? And I'm going to die at 52 on the island of St. Helena. This doesn't look like an island to me. Are you at least comfortable here? Do you think I could be comfortable in this place? Yes, I think this is a fantastic place. Of course! The Palace of Versailles is the best place in the world to rest! I agree with him, except for one small difference. The Valley of the Kings is the best place to rest even to rest forever. This is Versailles! Behold the elegance! This is Egypt! Behold the sand! Well, as long as they think they're in their favorite place, I guess they'll be fine. Nope! We are at the Palace of Versailles! No! We are in the Valley of the Kings! Subject, kneel before your emperor. Pardon? Are you disobeying Napoleon Bonaparte? Dash, if he and Zlotsky meet, there'll be pandemonium. I'm sorry, of course not, emperor. Then praise my noble horse, Marongo. But he's not a horse. And I'm not Napoleon. Come on, just look at it. It doesn't even have a tail. Ignorant fool! Horses of noble breed have their tails cut off. Envy is a declaration of inferiority. But don't worry. He's just one among my 129 horses. And you'll be horse number 130! Thank you, your Imperial Majesty, for allowing me to be your horse. What do you want your name to be? Horse? Tintin suits me. Parfait! Then I name you... Osterlitz. But I said... Shut up! Horse! Horses don't talk! Now go graze, Osterlitz. 
My faithful Austerlitz, do not despair. I shall hide you tomorrow. And remember, the world suffers a lot, not because of the violence of the bad people, but because of the silence of the good people. I'm so distinguished and refined, so, so distinguished and important, don't you think? Um, what? Why didn't you immediately say yes? Because I didn't want to enter. You don't think I'm distinguished and refined? What's wrong with you? Or is it that you think you're more distinguished than me? Yes, I am more distinguished than you. How dare you? I'll kill you, you rude little rat. No, you rude little worm. No, you rude little slug. All right, all right. You're elegant. Elegant? Just elegant? Not the most distinguished man on earth? I'm sorry, of course you are. You're as distinguished as... Apollo, the Greek god of perfection, harmony, and balance. Apollo? I'll take it. We share the same qualities. Lucky for Apollo that someone dares to compare him to me. You may go. Could you say that one more time? I know. No need to remind me. But could you say it once again? Palaces Your or friends French are fine. Here. I think what happened to them. Look, there is the driver who brought us to Versailles. He's the driver who brought us to Egypt. Your friend. It'd be better if you stayed with your friends until the director returns. The building in front Until the of director the comes back, you shouldn't leave the clinic. Uh, pyramid. You? A palace! You are completely insane. You are completely insane! Hello. And you are? The gardener. Aha. Uh -huh. Just the gardener? Just the gardener. Maybe some famous gardener? Nope, not a famous gardener, just an anonymous unknown gardener. Aha. Uh -huh. But it's nice to be an anonymous unknown gardener as well. No, it's not. Why not? The pay is bad. But they give you everything here. If I were crazy, but I'm not crazy. As far as I know. Oh, so you really are the gardener? That's what I told you. I thought you were mad. And what can you tell me about the patients? What do you want to know about? 
I'd like to know more about Napoleon. He thinks he's Napoleon. Uh Uh-huh. Anything else? His horse's name is Marengo. You are not a man of many words. Nope. And what else can you... Rumor has it that if you become his horse or his donkey, you'll go crazy and end up locked up in the asylum. What about the distinguished and refined man? What a pain. I enjoy telling him he's rude every morning. Oh my, that's a bit harsh. I never said I was a nice guy. What about the fellow who drives an imaginary racing car? He's the Maharaj of Guy Pajama. Golly, another one eager for greatness. No, he's really the Maharaja. Or at least he was before he lost his mind. We think he was bitten by some poisonous bug because he arrived with a bite on his neck. Could it be the same poison they used on Sarcophagus and Zlotsky? Now he spends all day racing in the 24 hours of Le Mans. He was gutted yesterday. He said he'd raced like never before and lost. Like always. <laughs> Funny. The man sleeping there. He sleeps as much as he can. He believes that reality is in dreams and dreams in reality. For him, wakefulness is a nightmare from which he can only awaken by sleeping. I'm sorry, but I can't continue this conversation. I have a very important dinner later, and I must finish my work first. My noble Austerlitz, what are you doing here? I heard a rumor that if someone becomes your horse or your donkey, they will end up locked up in the asylum. Be careful. Don't trust anyone but me. This place is not what it seems to be. We are surrounded by Russian spies. Tsar Alexander I wants my head, but he won't get it. You are distinguished. You don't have to listen to the gardener. He tells me I'm rude every morning. Well, you're not. Do you really mean it? I do. Thank you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. No! We are in the Valley of the Kings! This place is green! There is no sand! Well, I don't see any palaces or French people here. The director will be back soon. Please wait for him here. Dear Maharaja of Gai Pajama, could I ask you a few questions? Would it be possible for you to park your car for a moment? Hmm. How about we race before talking?
This is the last corner. Whoever comes out of it ahead will win. Should I let him win his first race, or will he think I'm giving it to him? Christ! I lost again! If I'd just gone faster around that last corner... Oh, I'm doomed to fail, but ask me whatever you want. You've earned it. Though I only have time for three questions before the next race begins. Do you know anything about the opium trade in India? I know you shouldn't fight the smugglers. If you do, you'll end up like me. In an asylum? I like the way you think, boy, and I agree with you. The world of racing is a world of madness. Are you the Maharaja of Gai Pajama? Me? The Maharaja of Gai Pajama? Are you mad? The only position I've held is that of driver. But I remember the Prince of Gai Pajama well. Always held a special place in my heart. If you see him sometime, look after him. Have you ever seen any cigars with an Egyptian symbol on them? No, no, please! I haven't done anything! Please don't hurt me! It's all right. Are you fine? Huh? Of course! I'm fine! My next race starts in a few minutes. You'll have to excuse me, but I must race! A race car driver is nothing more than his next race. I should thank the gardener for everything he told me about the patients. There is the driver who brought us to Versailles. I'm sorry, but what are you doing? I already told you I have a very important dinner today. And why are you watering the hat? That's obvious. So it'll grow into a top hat. Do you think it makes sense to attend a formal dinner wearing a bowler hat? Uh, no, of course not. How silly of me. Gosh, I didn't expect that. Uh, Mr. Tintin, uh, will you come with me and complete some formalities? Uh, of course. <laughs> Look, this is the kind of board that we have set aside for your poor friend. As I was saying, dear director, the mad one is Tintin. Lock him up. He is an extremely dangerous character. We'll take good care of your friend. You have nothing to worry about. Pharaoh Ramses II! Of the own Napoleon Bonaparte! <laughs> That's a good one. And I'm King Louis XIV's son. <laughs> Pleasure, Louis XIV's son. Until next time! <laughs> Director, huh? one of the patients took the gardener's scissors. Ah, no, not again.
Here's your soup. My soup? That's what I think of your soup! <laughs> Help! Get this off of me! Come on! Your head's too big! Oh, there he is! Why are you out of your stable? Come here! Run, right. Snowy! Hey, you! Dash! Why are you out of your room, huh? Tell me I'm distinguished and refined, or I won't let you pass. I don't have time for that! Be careful! So you're Napoleon's horse, too? No, I'm Pegasus, Zeus's horse! Nice to meet you, divine horse! Snowy, where are you? Shouldn't that patient be locked up? Yeah, get him! Hey, have you seen a dog around here? You can do better than that. Distinguished and refined sir, have you seen a dog around here? That's better. He went that way. Thanks. Why is there a pedestrian on the track? What an amateur race! I'm Pegasus, and I can fly. Oh, there he is. Grab him. The Russians, they are attacking. Take up your weapons and defend Paris with and your how eyes. how did you get here so fast? I'm a horse, dummy. I'm faster than you. Snowy, can you hear me? Where are you? How was the dinner? I'm cleaning. My friends arrive in a bit. Make way for Gerdius, the god of Gerdius! Where do you think you're going, deserter? Get back here! My dog, where is he? Still haven't learned your manners? Oh, come on! Tell me where my dog is! Tell you? Never! Get him! Hey, driver! Want to be my co -pilot? You again? Surprised? I'm the fastest horse ever! You won't get past! <laughs> the Russians got me in the leg! Ah, call a nurse! You'll be alright! <laughs> I'm not so crazy as to believe what a horse says! Ooh, tell me! I want to hear it! You're insufferable! You're rude! I'm going to kill you! Only if you catch me first! Snowy! Where are you? Stop! It's for your own good! Call Zeus, so he can ride me! Stop following me! You're not invited to my dinner! Well, I don't want to go! Offended? I've seen you somewhere! Indeed, I'm sure we've grazed together! We must have! I've got you! Snowy! Let's find a way out! Pardon me, Pegasus! Divine horse, you rude boy! Only my friends get to call me Pegasus. One more lap, and I'll be the winner of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. I hope you make it. Come back here. You'll get hurt. Let's all grab him. He's trapped. We'll see about that. Snowy, follow me. You made it! Stop! Stop! Stay where you are! Better not dilly dally! Gentle catching him! He's a patient after all! You've got to listen! I'm a reporter! Aha! Uh -huh. Another case of delusion! A reporter? In which newspaper? Le Petit Ventième! Never heard of it! A deal! I told Patient you! I'm saying! Stop Don't it! Don't think so! Oh no, not on my tea break! You can interview uh, Napoleon himself if you come back! But he's not the real Napoleon, right? Of course not, you idiot! It's a ruse! Maybe next time we'll have better luck! 
If you keep running, you'll lose your pet privileges. You'll never tear me and Snowy apart. That's it. No more being nice. You troublemaker. I'll put you in a straitjacket and send your little dog to a plastic kennel. Doctor, calm yourself. Wait until I catch you. Please, take a deep breath. I'll lock you up. Stuff you with pills. I'll... Doctor, did you take your pills today? Free. I will take it out of here. Seize that recalcitrant resident. Keep up, Snowy. The train is coming. No, no, no. It's getting away. Quick. We mustn't miss that train. Jump, Snowy. I'll catch you. You've given us the slip, did you, scoundrel? You're coming with us now, and no funny bit. Saved our lives, young man. What's your name? Tintin. Reporter. Bow before the Maharaja of Gaipachana. You... You... Please. Will you be my guest at the palace tonight? Don't worry, my friend. My secretary will soon finish organizing tomorrow's search. Everything's arranged, Your Highness. We leave at dawn. Thank you, my good Gondoladia. You may go. I hope Snowy is all right. Surely. Tomorrow we will find him. What if he's surprised by a tiger? They look like big cats, after all. And Snowy can't resist a fight with a cat. But didn't you tell me he fought a lion once? Well, yes, when we were in Africa. Then rest assured, lions and tigers are all the same. He'll be fine. He's a brave dog. He could be lost in the jungle. What if he can't find his way out? You mustn't worry, my friend. It's not as wild as it once was. I'm sure he'll come across a village. Last time I saw him near the railway tracks. Oh no, what if... From what you've told me, he seems smart enough to avoid a moving train. What if he's ambushed by that evil Fakir? Then I'd feel sorry for the Fakir. Snowy seems like a no-nonsense kind of dog. Talking about Snowy makes me sad. Understandably, you're my guest of honor. Choose a topic. Such a beautiful palace you live in. Very ancient, too. 
They say it was built over the ruins of a lost temple by my grandfather's grandfather. A temple? Amazing! Tell me more about the lost temple. It was probably built by the Gupta Empire and plundered by Mongol raiders. They say there's an underground section of the old temple connected to the palace by tunnels. I used to search for them when I was a boy, but they're probably just a myth. The tiger hunt sure was thrilling. I'd never been on one before. And quite unconventional. We don't usually subdue them by falling on them. It was pure luck that that tiger was there to break my fall. Indeed, we were very fortunate you were there to save us. And we'll always be thankful. Is it hard to govern a kingdom like Gai Pajama? It is indeed. My brother was the heir to my father's throne. But after he became... indisposed, I had to take over. These are dark times for Gai Pajama and the people need their Maharaja. But sometimes that responsibility overwhelms me. Luckily, I have the help of my loyal secretary, Gandaladia. Did you call, Your Highness? There he is, as diligent and as attentive as ever. So I see. I don't need anything, my good Gandaladia. That is all for today. As you wish, Your Highness. I've got a few questions about being a Maharaja. Uneasy lies the head that wears a crown, as the great English bard once said. What would you do if you weren't the Maharaja? I'd play with my son. I feel like I'm missing out on his childhood. What's the worst duty of a Maharaja? Having to wear all those uniforms to parades and receptions. I see the tailor more than my own shadow. There must be something good about being a Maharaja. Well, one can help a great deal from a position of power like this one. But I sometimes feel burdened by so many responsibilities. Being a Maharaja is more complicated than I thought. Let's talk about something else. Dinner was delicious. Would you like some dessert? We have all kinds of fruit, pudding, dokla. That's very kind, but I'm stuffed. I wish I could feed my people as well as I do my guests. I read about the famine. It seems like a serious situation. And it's linked to opium trafficking. These scoundrels extort peasants so they grow opium poppies instead of rice. My brother and my father before him used to go after those smugglers when they were Maharajas. And now I continue their fight. But it sometimes seems like a lost cause to me. We will never win. Snowy and I met your brother, the former Maharaja. My brother? So you were in his hospital? How was he? He seemed happy. He thought he was racing the 24 hours of Le Mans. Ah, oh, he dreamed about that race. He even had his own vehicle designed. A kind of Alfa Romeo meets Amilcar. The Amilcar is quite a racing car. I drove one near Moscow. He never got to drive it, though, unfortunately. I wonder why fate has decided to be so cruel to my kingdom and my family. Ooh, if you'll excuse me, Your Highness, I think I'm going to bed now. Great idea. Tomorrow is going to be a long day, and... Oh no, that, that music again. Nobody. There's no one there anymore. What's that strange melody? I heard it for the first time. 
before my father went mad. And again, just before my brother did. It's the family curse. I'm doomed. What will happen to the kingdom and to my son if I go mad too? Curse? I don't think so. This is all too familiar and stinks of conspiracy. But I need to make sure... Slotsky spoke of a trafficker's hideout in Guy Pajama. What if the previous Maharajas had enemies? My brother suspected there was a powerful secret opium organization operating in the kingdom, but he was never able to prove it. Hmm. Both Slotsky and Sarcophagus went mad after getting shot with a dart. Did you ever notice a mark or puncture on your brother or father's neck? No, never, but, uh, wait, yes. Even in his madness, my father complained about an itch on his neck. The poison of madness affected Zlotsky right away. Maybe. Did they both suddenly go crazy? Indeed. They went to bed after hearing the melody, and by the next morning they had gone completely mad. Listen to me closely, Your Highness. Your father and brother were shot with a poison dart, and I know who did it! Tonight, when you go to sleep, he's going to climb up to your window and shoot you. But, I'll be waiting outside, and I'll follow him to his accomplices. But, I'll be poisoned and mad! Just before, while you're hiding in another room, I'll make a dummy that looks just like you and put it in your bed. Together, We'll bring them down. The Fakir will strike from over here, like he did with Zlotsky and the Maharajas before. They might come in handy for my new homemade Maharaja. I could use it to dress my fake Maharaja. But then again, it's going on the bed under the blankets, so there's no need. Off to a good start. This can be the Maharaja's body. I saw this in a travel magazine. It's coal, a kind of charcoal to protect your eyelids. You've got to squeeze the bulb to make it work. A coconut again. It'll be perfect as the Maharaja's head. Hello? you? What are you doing in my father's room? I'm Tintin, reporter. And you are? I'm the Prince of Guy Pajama. What's a reporter? I'm here to save your father, your highness. Do reporters save lives? Not really, but it happens to me sometimes. I'm making a dummy that looks like your father. For some kind of contest? Not exactly. Let's just say... It's hard to explain. A reporter travels the world on the hunt for stories. Wow, have you traveled really far? Well, I've been to Africa, Russia, America, Egypt, Arabia, and now India. Gee, I want to travel too. I like you. Come play with me. Sorry, I can't now, Your Highness. I have to help your father. Aw, but promise me you'll play later. Of course. Wait, how did you... Hmm. Now that's clever. There are enough clothes in here to dress an army. I could spend hours in here. Maybe later I can find something useful for my plan. Hmm, 
Whose room is this? Mm. It won't budge. If I were to go out there now, I'd risk getting caught. Tenton, you came! Can you show me how to play with the Latu? I can't play right now, Your Highness. Your father needs me. Please? Maybe we can play later, when I finish. Can we play now, please? I'm really busy right now, Highness. Maybe later. Please? I haven't played with anybody in a long time. All right, then. I'll teach you. Brilliant! First... You wrap the string around it, carefully. Then you take one of the ends and spin it. Bingo! There you go. Yay! This is so fun! See? Now you can try it any time. What's life in the palace like? Before, Papa and I used to go for elephant rides and play in the garden. But since he's Maharaja, he won't let me out of the palace. He can never play and he hardly smiles. There's a huge snake in the next room. Has it scared you? It's Coco, Daddy's secretary's pet. She's not that bad. And she likes the punji. Punji? That! They use it to charm snakes and even make ropes levitate. I can show you how to play it if you'd like. I want to learn how to play the punji. Could you teach me? Of course. I'll teach you a snake lullaby. Watch and repeat after me. Now you try. Punji. Thanks, Your Highness. I saw your uncle not too long ago, Highness. My uncle? Really? Oh boy, I miss him so much. Where is he? Well... He's, uh... Racing cars. He's quite a driver. It's not fair. He should be here being Maharaja. That way Papa wouldn't be so busy. I'm sure he'll come back soon. I must go now, but I'll be back. Oh, promise? Promise. symbol. This is the room of a traitor. And another statue from the tomb. There's any movement in the Ooh. corridor? Ooh. Well, well, what do we have here? 
the kiosk symbol. This is the room of a traitor. And another statue from the tomb. If there's any movement in the oh, corridor. Oh. <sighs> Understood, sir. <clears throat> hmm. I'd better lock that fool's door. Stupid snake, sleeping as usual. What a guardian. Oh, who could that be? Yes. Oh, greetings, Grandmaster. Yes, yes. At midnight. The usual way. Window, dart, and bye-bye, Maharaja. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Oh, don't worry. I'll lead the meeting. So it shall be done, Grandmaster. <gasps> oh, I almost forgot. <clears throat> Stupid bird. How can it be so heavy? They couldn't look for another entry token. Phew, that was close. But now I know who the traitor is, and that I'll be sneaking into a secret meeting. It's locked. I'm sure there's something valuable in there. The Maharaja's secretary was talking to a certain Grand Master, and the letter in Colonel Fouad's office mentioned him too. The leader of this smuggling ring, no doubt. Better safe than sorry. Let's try with this. An ear trumpet? The secretary doesn't seem deaf. Unless... Of course, that scoundrel uses this to spy on the Maharaja. Crikey! It won't budge! Finish the job. It's coal, a kind of charcoal to protect your eyelids. Looks really comfortable, but no time to rest. All right, first I'll peel it. Then I'll make a hole. Voila! Hmm, it needs a little more work though. Looks like some sort of ceremonial attire. They might come in handy for my new homemade Maharaja. It still doesn't look like the Maharaja. It looks expensive, and it's empty. How can he climb so high? Wait, 
Is that a real tiger? It won't work, and I can't risk going back in there. Let's see, we've got tunics, turbans, slippers... Aha! I hope the Maharaja doesn't mind me ruining this stall to save him. Hmm, let's give it a go. the face. I knew they would come in handy eventually. I'd love to dress like that. You've got to squeeze the bulb to make it work. Looks really comfortable, but no time to rest. I can't risk going out. My entire plan could be on the line. There! The trap is set. It's getting late. I'd better get ready. Magic rope. Right! go? Is he up in the tree? Or is he inside the tree? That's it! Hmm. This is not the first time I face this sort of brain teaser. This is not the first time I face this sort of brain teaser.
Hmm, this is not the first time I face this sort of brain teaser. Hmm, this is not the first time I face this sort of brain teaser. Don't escape me this time, Fakir. Ever since we parted ways, Snowy had never given up, and he was tracing my scent all through the Indian Railway. Of course, there were two more hounds following in my tracks, probably facing the wrong way. It was only a matter of time till they met, and a bit more till they found me. There you are! Place.
This must be the largest screw in the world. center column. doing wrong. The first one was easier. What am I doing wrong? The first one was easier. was easier. What am I doing wrong? The first one was easier. wrong. The first one was easier. enough.
hope the fakir is not too far away. <laughs> <laughs>